I meet a lot of people all the time that try to explain to me why this can't be done or why that can't be done or why it's so complicated or why it'll never work. Um, I prefer to ignore them and, and listen to people that tell me what they've done and uh, how they've circumvented the problems that people talk about. So here's one little example. You see here we've got the tilapia tanks um, one and two um, installed like that. But um, I've got to keep the water running circulate the water, all I've done here is I've installed a little solar panel, that's a 50 watt panel, costs about 400 rand and then over here I've wired that directly from the panel to a little pump, that uh, pump draws about 2 amps of power um, and that pumps through this little hose pipe into the filtration system there. So as long as the sun shines, this thing pumps. Um, no inverter, no battery, no complication. It's really quite a simple arrangement. Where do you buy the little pump? You go to the kind of guys that sell um, solar water geysers. And they use these pumps, 12 volt pumps. Um, in order to circulate water through solar water systems. Um, where do you buy the panel? It's going to cost you 400 bucks, 400 rand, not 400 dollars for those of you that are watching in the States, it's probably about 40 dollars. Buy it online, anywhere, it's very easy, they'll deliver these things. Um, if you really haven't got a solar hot water supplier uh, around you in your town, then you go to a commercial fishing operation and they'll tell you what they call a build pump. It's a 12 volt thing and that um, will cost you probably 500 rand for Americans 50 bucks, 50 dollars. So try it at home, see if it works, really simple, no batteries, no inverters, just plug in you go. When the sun goes down it stops pumping. Um, sun comes up it starts pumping. No the uh, pump doesn't burn out because it's not enough light because it's submersible so it's got a cooling thing going on there the pump just keeps on going try it out